Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to Saturday the 27th of May. It is 68 degrees out here now. It's only been about 45, maybe close to an hour, since the sun even came out. It broke out, and all of a sudden the heat started going up. Man, it was it was low to mid 50s most of the morning, and uh, now all of a sudden it popped out and she turned beautiful. So uh, Kelly's been doing her little art crafty things there, and I've been working on this Gen Nine, getting this thing sorted out. And uh, I did. I took the transmission apart, greased everything. Got her all dialed in. And, you know, it's funny, bench testing the thing without the cover on it, I think the cover resonates most of the noise. You're just hearing some, like a lot of spur gear noise in here. And I put one of those small three cells in there. I use these straps because they have rubber on the back and it sticks to the battery and it can't move with the, just regular Velcro, no matter how tight I put it. It tends to, it can slip out. I I got the Fusion Pro that I received yesterday. And uh, so took the transmission and the transverse transverse gear completely apart and cleaned everything out. Uh, let's see where I'm, yeah, I'm oozing a little grease. Yeah, probably got a little too much in it. But we'll wipe it off. It'll, it'll right itself. But um, yeah, it got a lot of spur gear noise. And... You can hardly hear it without the cover on it. When I was bench running it, I go, man, it's so much quieter. Then I put the cover on and came out and started driving it for the first time. And, and uh, not as loud, but it's definitely a noisy thing. But maybe just time, maybe everything's got to break in or something. I know I'll double check, but I you know, made sure, man, I've been running this thing that hard and that motor's just warm. That's what I was telling you guys, the difference between the Pro and the um, the SE. These silly little ribs, you know, like fins on an old two-stroke cylinder or an air-cooled bike. You wouldn't think they'd make a difference. Or maybe the motor just runs more efficiently or something. But I've been flying. I even flipped it over in the driveway once. It goes stupid fast and in high gear with that three-cell in there. I'm amazed at these little 2200 uh three cells work as well as they do they're only 35c heck even those cheap old two cells i have are 60c that's the measure of energy i can burst but they tend to go through the batteries a lot quicker even if you go in slow they tend to not last as long but i haven't had any drivability problems but man all that speed and that things that 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 Fusion SC, when I do that on the Bronco, I can't even, I can't hold a finger on it. It's so hot. And um, they've got a thermal thing, so if it overheats, they'll shut themselves down. This thing's a static magnet. Everything sticks to it. I'm just having a ball with this thing, though. Even though she's a little noisy. <laughs> All right, I'll go out and play here. And swallows, they do some heavy communicating in here. They just carry the heck on. So I took it, I drove around for a while. I've, I've gone through like two battery packs already. <laughs> I've been just driving it, driving it, driving it. So I went in, cleaned all the grease. I showed you it's coming out. And um, uh, readdressed the, you know, the pinion to spur gear clearance. And uh, reset that. And I've been out here driving around and... She's the more I drive it, the quieter it, the quieter it gets. But one very distinct thing: if I drive it without the body, it it's crazy quiet. The body of this new Gen Nine is echoing the sounds way more than the than the Gen Eight. So yeah, without the body on it, that's where I was confused. I I had everything down. I come out and it was all funky. But this is. This can be kind of funny because these new Interco M16 something others tires they just don't have the traction that the other ones do. But this this can be a riot.
<laughs> Nothing these tires like in the linoleum. They squall like a scalded dog. It's really cool. They squawk. And I was doing a 20-point turn to try to come down that ramp a while ago and just back and forth. And it's, it's pretty cool. Funny as heck. She is very pleasing to drive. I can give it that. And just listen how much quieter it is. I think it's already quieter than the than the Gen 8. Even with the echoing body sound to it, that it has. Whoa, let's not drive her off of that. Right, rolled her in the in the driveway. Let's not do anything else drastic to it. I wiped it down with some plexus and kind of took some of that static clean that it had. It was, I mean, everything's sticking to it like crazy. Right? I'm in, good Lord, I'm in high gear messing around with all this stuff. Yeah, now low gear is definitely noisy because everything's spinning at such a high ratio. They immediately hear more whining sound. But even the tracks, as quiet as those things are, make quite a bit of whine and it's in low gear. It's granny gear, man. You know, the more I, I mess around with this thing, the more I might just leave it alone as far as the stickers. Because it's kind of like falling there. Everybody else puts them on there. Does some of them look cool? I don't know. I always end up not putting them on. Just I get used to the truck and I just enjoy driving it. So it's it's kind of like having that ugly dog. You ever had an ugly dog? You still love that thing, and you accept it the way it looks. <laughs> it's a horrible thing to say, but we've all had one. You know, you have one. You don't 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 show the the people that show up. Put them in the back room. No, I'm not. <laughs> Seriously, we've all had an ugly dog. We're kind of kind of embarrassed about what the heck kind of dog do you have? Well, she's a mixture of everything. <laughs> anyway, super enjoyable. Having a ball with it. I need to address the uh, the lights. I think I'll mess with that before I mess with any decals. I'm more and more leaning on I like the way it looks. When I first started seeing the reviews of this thing, I go, man, that thing's an ugly duckling. But um, I love it. I, I think it's the driving it and it just uh, does everything so well. And uh, now with the fusion motor in there, it's just a pleasure. There's none of that weird brush motor stuff. That's that's all gone. Although this had the best drag brakes and it didn't seem like it's a different um, speed controller. I know it's not a different motor. I think everything's the same as the Gen 8 and that thing was horrible. But this thing is fantastic. Kelly's uh, um, axial early Ford Bronco, it's completely stocked. And um, it's very drivable. Just mess around, and tw tweak some things, get everything set right, and off you go. Anyway, I can catch you back up for the day. Mom's in here just heavily doing her craft stuff. <laughs> I'm enjoying the I got myself. I can spend way too much time messing with these things because it's just, I don't know. It's just the most enjoyable thing ever. It's real cool. <laughs> this is what it does on the linoleum.
these guys were back there shooting full automatics a while ago. Hopefully I got a license for that. But I was come out of here, it's been about an hour or so since I was out here. I come out here with the with the Gen 8. First thing I did is I ran the 9 and the 8 with the bodies off, and they sound virtually the same. But now I drive this it's every bit. It's it maybe a little bit louder than the Gen 9. <laughs> but this one, I've never taken it apart and greased it. The Gen 9 has metal gears. I got a kit to turn this one into metal gears, um, which if they weren't lubed, it would, as light as the lube was in that uh, Gen 9, that's a lot of the reason it was making so much noise. Because, uh, yeah, that was just enough to keep anything from corroding. But then, of course, as you've seen, I went a little too far, but it's all good now. And I was out there speed running, went in and looked, and, and uh, yeah, everything's nice and dry. I just took a good long couple of rips to uh, burn it down I'm using one of those I need to put one of those straps in there too that's how I know they slip around but I got that one pulled down tight but uh, oh this is what I'm talking about the flashing lights you see how brake lights are are brighter so they tend not to flash because it's running full frequency it's when they're trying to dim the lights for whatever reason it makes them flash so i don't know i wonder if i turn the bec boosted it up to uh um seven volts 7.4 i think it is something like that if that uh would stop the lights from flashing if it did this kit's really easy to put in because well it's not the kit that i the second gen 8 kit that i have it's not made for the Gen 9, but looking at it, I can make it work. There's actually one, there's two brake lights in the back, as you've seen. It's weird how one's at a different frequency than the other, but um, uh, there's only one brake light hole on the Gen 9, but it's a nice kit. It'll, it'll work. It's nothing, nothing compared to Traxxas. Traxxas has got this stuff dialed. But anyway, I thought I'd end the day coming out here i just come on right quick i had my phone in my pocket so i thought i'd say hey but from here hope you guys enjoyed it was a very relaxing day for me and uh anyway we'll play out here for a bit and when the sun gets low enough that it won't blast us out mom and i will do a goodbye but uh thanks for hanging around watching me goof off enjoying myself deeply well, hello there, YouTube. Man, what a very relaxing day. It is. I just like, it's been all day. I've been thinking that all day. It just keeps going. Very nice. So Kelly had this project in your, what are you putting over it? Resin. Resin over all her stuff. And um, I sprayed some plexus on a rag from a long ways from it where she had that stuff. But it looks like silicone got sprayed. It's got little dimples everywhere, just like silicone would do to to paint. I think he even does it to, you do that to make some kind of design, don't yeah. you? So I hope that plexus didn't make it all the way into that room, but who knows? Well, we'll just put another layer. Yeah, it's a bummer. I hope it wasn't something I did that messed her. I mean, they look great, but they got dimples in them. Have you ever seen what silicone does like at a paint shop or whatever? It's It's bad news. But I, it does literally just what it did to that. But anyway, it's fun day, relaxing. She did her crafts, I did my hobbies, and it was a wonderful Saturday. It was. It was very, very nice. Yeah. Well, it's bounce, Mama. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, and you guys have an amazing Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. Andy is flat on a roll. I know. But Sasha's sitting there. She's like prepared to go attack her. They're going to be playing here in a minute. Mm hmm. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. See you in the morning. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now. Bye. You're crazy. <laughs>